Today, we are taking the longest ferry ride in the UK. Northlink has a long history of operating ferry services in the North Sea, to the island archipelagos of Orkney and Shetland. But is this service better than flying? Is spending 14 hours in a boat better than flying in one? Well, today we find out as we take Northlink's flagship service from Aberdeen on the Scottish mainland all the way to the Shetland Islands via the Orkneys. Hello everyone, and welcome to Aberdeen Harbour. Today we're here to take a ferry ride on Northlink up to Lerwick in Shetland. Now, I know what a lot of you will be thinking. I live in Aberdeen, so why haven't I done this before? Well, truth be told, taking the ferry isn't something that I've always thought about doing. I'm more sort of a rail and aviation kind of guy, but uh, yeah. Um, with Northlink being based in Aberdeen, yeah, I think it's something that I need to do now. Um, so anyway, we are on a cabin today and we are getting the ferry up to Lairwick on the overnight crossing. We also have dinner booked, so gonna get see how the food is on board. Yeah, should be good. So anyway, won't we'll waste any more time. We're almost at the terminal. Let's just jump right in. Let's go. Northlink operates their ferry services from a passenger terminal located on Jameson's Quay in Aberdeen Harbour. It is from this terminal that Northlink also operates what is the longest domestic ferry route in the UK, that being the ferry we are on today, up to Lerwick. Hi there. Hey. 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 Perfect, thank you very much. Okay, perfect, thank you very much. Right, so we've got our tickets now just to get on board. Heading on board, we get a great view of our vessel today, the HV Frosty. And what a fine looking craft she is. I don't know, I don't know much about boats or ships. Do you call it ship? I don't know. Do you need a lot of You are in cabin 456, that is right after the stairs. Perfect, thank you very much. Located on the lower deck as you enter the ship, you have all the cabins, and on the upper deck, you have located a bar, restaurant, shops, and seating areas. Right, here we are with our cabin, and we've got the cabin with the window, so yeah, we can see the sea as we're going past. And that looks like one of the Scottish fishery vessels outside. Uh, Hirta, I think, called Hirta. You can all correct me. I think it's called Hirta, but uh, Hirta, or I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, this is the cabin. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I mean, it's a one bed cabin. Um, I think that folds down into a bunk bed if it's two person occupancy. Um, got TV, got coffee machine, uh, not coffee machine, kettle. Um, got kettle, drinks. Um, yeah, pretty good so far, pretty good. Um, have a look at the bathroom now. Light on. Not a bad bathroom. I mean, come on. This is shit. Very, really. Not a bad bathroom. A bit small, but overall, not bad at all. Um, yep. I like the, uh, the tweed here. Yeah, I'm gonna get settled in, then maybe go get dinner or something. Um, departure isn't for another couple of hours, so we're in pretty early. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good, and you got a QR code up here that you can scan with your phone for the menu um, for your dinner. We have dinner booked, we've got a three course dinner booked, three course, I know fancy. Um, we also have two free drinks included with that, so yeah, this is all pretty good. Um, I'll tell you the price at the end of the, the voyage. Also get given a newspaper and a little brochure from Northlink. But anyway, yep, gonna get settled in and then we'll go for some dinner. Right, let's go have an explore the ship and see what's uh, round about, see what's on board. Okay, this looks like the restaurant here. Um, got bar area. Um, yeah, definitely a lounge through there. Okay, we've got the menu here as well. I do like how they've got all the little flags of Scotland and Orkney and Shetland on it as well to tell you where it's from. So the stuff's either come from Scotland, Orkney or Shetland. Uh, you obviously got the regional flags there as well, which is really, really nice touch. I like that. 
I must say, I do also love the clear Scandinavian influence on the Orkney and Shetland flags. Want to go see if the observation deck is open? Um, I think it is. Let's go have a look. The observation deck is located at the back of the ship and is split into two levels, with the top being closed off at night to avoid accidents. Nice view from out here. Definitely come back out here once uh, sailing's underway. Yeah, nice view from out here. Right, I think there's an upper deck as well. Let's have a look at this. Now I'm trying to decide, what do I do? Do I get lunch um, the lounge that we're in for dinner, um, where we've got our vouchers, um, allows us uh, to, well, look at the view up here. This is like a helipad. I suppose it must be for emergencies. Somebody takes ill, air ambulance needs to come out. Looks big enough for a helicopter, or at least a Eurocopter, which the air ambulance uses, so I imagine that's what that's for. Um, emergency evacuation. Hopefully we won't have an emergency evacuation of any kind, um, medical or otherwise. I've got a lounge ticket with the meal and everything included, um, and serving starts at five o'clock, which is just as sailing is getting underway. So I'm trying to decide when to have dinner. Um, three course meal included. I'll just get a view of this. Nice view of Aberdeen from up here. We'll come back up here once we're, once we're sailing, but let's go back inside for now. Um, the wind's died down a bit, which is nice. Yeah, let's uh, go back down. Come back out when, when we're underway, maybe after dinner as well. One thing I was a bit surprised at while making my way back to my cabin was that this ship has an onboard cinema. It wasn't long after that the vehicle boarding was started. Is it just me or does this fisheries vessel look more like a naval vessel? Maybe you can tell me why that is. Inside, as I mentioned, you have a bar, which we will be using tonight for our two free drinks included with our cabin. At the front of the second deck, you also have the seating area, which can be booked instead of a cabin if you just want to keep costs down. Looking at them, they look comfortable enough. A step up from these seats, Northlink have also introduced sleeping pods in their ships. And these are together in an access only room, so you let me know if you want me to do this again in one of these. And at the very front of the ship is another seating area and bar. This is also where the wee tiny onboard cinema is located. I do also like that local artists get a chance to hang their artwork on board. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at what's been provided at the tea and coffee station, because it's a bit more than like your average premier in a travel lodge. So let's have a look. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have the Wee Coffee Company, um, coffee bags, like tea bags, um, pretty good. Uh, hot chocolate, decaf coffee, Lots of milk, obviously cups, spoons. What's this? It says Piri Nips, two Piri Nips. Okay. Orange and coconut. Okay, I'll give them a try. They should be pretty nice. Obviously you got some shortbread as well. This being a Scottish ferry. Of course you're gonna have shortbread. Got some water from D side, sparkling and still. Very good, gonna need that. Got a phone, uh, zero to dial reception, obviously. And up here, we've got QR code, as I mentioned earlier. You can scan and see the whole menu. Um, bit of information, got free Wi Fi on board. We'll check that out, see how it is later on. Um, got some information about the ship and its sister ship. Um, got some info in case you bring your dog or your pet on board. Lot of sick bags, hopefully we'll not need to use those. Is there a bin in case we do? Yes, there's a bin over there. Drawer, in case you need stuff. Yeah, thermostat, weather warning, 
in the event of a rough crossing, passengers are strongly advised to exercise caution when moving around cabins, public areas and using the stairways and passing through doors. Outside decks will be closed with the exception of the smoking area at the aft of end of deck 6. Please exercise caution when using this area. Fair enough. Got a ladder obviously for that when this comes down. Air vents, um, is it light as well? Yeah, no, it's a light. It's not an air vent, it's light, that's okay, that's good. Got a remote for the TV, as I said, we've got some stuff there. Yeah, we are good to go. Stuff hang up, Bible in case you need it, towels, coat hangers. So yeah, that should be it. Um, we look like we're ready and good to go. Let's go see if it's stopped raining a little bit so we can get some footage of everybody boarding and then we should be good to go. I want to get some footage of us departing from Aberdeen on our way up to Lerwick. The crossing should be about 12 hours, I'm told. So we'll see how it goes, but apparently we're leaving early today. So I don't know what that means, whether it means it's going to take a little bit longer, the seas are going to be a bit rough, don't know. But we're leaving about 20 minutes early, so. Engines are firing up proper now. It looks like we're getting ready for our departure, so yeah. As the final passengers were boarded, the vehicle ramp was lifted. Then slowly and methodically, the shoreside harbour crew removed the berthing lines. It is very interesting watching them at work in tandem with the delicate use of the ship's stabilisers. And after the final line had been freed, we were on our way. Well, when I say we are on our way, we do have a bit of careful manoeuvring within Aberdeen Harbour first, before we get out onto the open sea. Also accompanying us on this voyage will be one of two freight ships operated by Northlink. These are operated alongside the ferries, taking freight and livestock to and from the islands. As you can see, we are well and truly on our way now, and it is quite windy, so I'm not going to point the camera too much into the wind. Uh, yeah, well and truly on our way now. It's a bit dark out there, clouds wise, but as you can see, the sea is almost as calm as it can be in the North Sea. So, yeah, hopefully, it stays like this for the entire voyage and get to Lairwick in the morning. But anyway, what we're going to do now is go and get something to eat, a couple of drinks, maybe. Maybe get a movie later? I don't know. But maybe. Glad to finally do this trip. I mean, I've lived in Aberdeen for so long now. Sort of my home. So the fact that I haven't done this trip was sort of criminal. So good that we're fixing that. Really glad. Really happy that we're fixing that. What I was trying to say out there was we are now nicely underway. Yeah, having lived in Aberdeen, the fact that I haven't done this as a sort of travel YouTuber um, is pretty criminal. Um, so yeah, so glad to begin this trip finally done. It's been a long time coming. Um, even just doing a ferry trip in Scotland, I haven't done that yet. So yeah, I'll need to do some Calmac ones as well. Uh, Calmac videos, get them out, all out for you guys. But yeah, on North Link now, heading up to Lairwick. Should take us about 12 hours. So let's go get some food. Actually, I need a shower, I'm sweltering. Okay, so I just want to say that that shower is amazing. I mean, the pressure on that shower is absolutely unbelievable for a ship. I mean, not that I know much about ships, but it was better than my old bathroom. That was saying something. That has an amazing shower. That was a pressure washer shower. That beat it. So, yeah, if you're booking a cabin, you can be sure of a good shower at least. And the soap smells pretty nice as well. Um, I did use the onboard soap. I didn't bring my own. Um, but, yeah, it's really nice. It smells really good. Um, 
yeah, probably going to get some dinner now. We're just passing Peterhead. Um, so, yeah, let's go get some food. As you can see, the bar and restaurant is in full swing now we are underway. As I mentioned, there is also a shop on board, and it is decently well stocked for these voyages. With the cabin, however, you get access to the Magnus Lounge, which is where we are eating tonight. Okay, so I've just gone for the uh, French onion soup to start, and then the baked salmon and the syrup sponge and custard. So I just thought I'd go with the chef specials for the day. Um, Save going with the usual fish and chips that everybody seems to be going here for. Um, you go up top <laughs> now on the observation X, and it's just all a smell of diesel and fish and chips. Right, so my French onion soup has arrived, and it looks amazing. Right, let's give this a try. Yeah, yeah. That's really nice. Well done. Nice chunks of onion in it. That was so nice. That was really, really nice. Now, on to the main course. Salmon has arrived. Right, let's give this a try. This looks absolutely gorgeous. That is so nice. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. The syrup sponge custard has arrived now. Looks so nice. I haven't had a good bit of custard in years. Let's try it now. <laughs> It's very nice. Very nice. That was amazing. It reminded me of uh, the puddings I used to have in school, which is uh, a compliment to it because uh, they were amazing, especially when you're about 10. Um, yeah, pudding in school was amazing, so that really reminded me of that. So, yeah. Well done, Northlink. That was um, amazing, especially for a three-course meal. I am absolutely ruined. <laughs> so that was a good dinner. Um, I'll go back to the cabin to have a wee lie down now. Um, absolutely ruined my food. <laughs> my stomach hurts. Dinner was absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot complain about dinner. I mean, the quality of the food was really good as well. Oh, I made up my bed before I went for dinner. No, oh, I have a little lie down, ow. Ah, I just banged my head off the headboard, off the light. Oh, geez, oh. Okay. Sea's getting a little rougher now. Um, yeah, you can definitely feel it, especially when you're lying down. Up and down, up and down. It's not too bad, but it's... don't know how it'll affect sleep yet. Anyway, a little way down, and then go and have a look at the sunset. So.
Getting back up on deck, we were just pulling into Orkney. Passing the night lights of Kirkwall, the ship manoeuvres itself for docking. Once docked, vehicles were disembarked and loaded respectfully. And after around an hour in Kirkwall, it was once again time to depart. Okay, so had some tweets. Ah, we saw the departure, arrival and departure at Kirkwall. Um, now I'm just really tired and just want to get some sleep. I was out on the balcony a bit longer than I expected to be. Um, yeah, I had planned to be in bed by 12, so it's now past 12, so just gonna get some sleep and be up in the morning for breakfast. So I will see you all then. Oh, good morning everyone. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good night's sleep actually. Um, got a good few hours sleep. Um, yeah, um, bre just been announced on a tannery that breakfast is now being served. So we're gonna go get breakfast just now, so. Let's go get some breakfast and then we'll catch the arrival into Lairwick. So, yeah, let's go get breakfast. Heading for breakfast, our breakfast was once again in the Magnus Lounge. I've got myself a full breakfast here and uh, a coffee, obviously. I'm being myself. While having my breakfast, we were making our way up the coast of Shetland and into the Cadiz Sound. As we were coming into Lairwick, I finished my breakfast and headed outside to see our arrival. Right, so breakfast has been had. Let's get ourselves up onto the deck to, to see the arrival now. And the views were simply epic. this voyage really really good would do definitely do it again as you can see we were delayed docking due to a cruise ship carefully parking up at one of the piers
goodbye little cabin. We'll definitely be back to see you again soon because this was an amazing journey. Hello. Cheers, thank you. All right, so there we are. North Link Ferries. What did you think of that? I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, had a good sleep, had a good dinner. I'm awake now, refreshed. Good for the day. Flight's quicker, but I think if you've got the time, this is the better way to go. Disembarking the boat and making my way through the ferry terminal here at Lairwick. You should probably know what this cost me. This trip in total cost me £217 one way, which is pretty pricey. But considering I got to sleep, eat breakfast and a three course dinner, got free drinks and got where I needed to go, I really don't think it's bad value for money. So you let me know what you thought of North Link down below. Town centre, that's where we want. And if you like this video, you should check out this one here. And as always, people, we will see you all in the next one.